Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Washington Institute. Thank you very much for coming today. Um, this is a very special uh, event for us. Uh, uh, issues surrounding uh, the U.S.-Israel relationship and its role in overall U.S. Middle East policy have been a central focus of the work the Washington Institute has done for many years. And so therefore we are very pleased to be able to uh, to be the publisher of this new study by my, uh, my colleagues up here on the podium, um, Ambassador Robert Blackwell and uh, Under Secretary Walter Slocum. Um, uh, they have uh, 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 a very important presentation to make, so I'm going to be quite brief in what I say. Um, uh, let me first say that uh, 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 this is their final study. Uh, as in accordance with our normal procedure, um, we are going to be passing this out as you leave our conference room so that you spend your time over the next, uh, um, you know, over our luncheon listening to our speakers rather than flipping through their, uh, their product. Or but attacking as you, the weak point. <laughs> or attacking the weak point. So as you, as you leave um, out in the front, you can, pick up, uh, you can pick up our final product, which is Israel a strategic asset for the United States. Um, our two speakers, uh, Ambassador um, Blackwell, um, has a, uh, a long career in the American diplomatic service and as a uh, veteran foreign policy practitioner. He served most recently in the Bush administration um, as uh, special assistant to the president and deputy national uh, security advisor for strategic planning, as a presidential envoy to Iraq, as America's ambassador to India. Um, his, uh, his service goes back um, uh, several decades. Um, much earlier in his career, uh, Bob Blackwell uh, served in Israel uh, as political counselor at our American embassy. He was the um, uh, American arms negotiator for the conventional um, forces uh, negotiations with the, with the Soviets. Um, a broad and distinguished career. And uh, I'm delighted that he participated in today's, um, uh, in the project that we're releasing today. Um, Walter B. Slocum, um, uh, whose service um, goes back even further than uh, Bob Blackwell's, uh, has uh, served um, uh, uh, in the Pentagon um, in uh, high policy positions in both the Carter and the Clinton administrations. Uh, he served in the latter as Undersecretary of Defense for Policy throughout the Clinton administration. Um, uh, uh, in the Bush administration, he was a uh, um, uh, very important uh, official in our, um, uh, in our effort in Iraq as well. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased to have both gentlemen participate in this, uh, in this project. And uh, with that, I'm going to turn over to them to explain uh, um, the who's, what's, why's, and what the conclusions of this project is all about. Ambassador Blackwell. Thank you, Chairman. Good to be here. Um, Walter and I, uh, as we uh, thought about the U.S.-Israeli relationship, of course, uh, began with uh, the proposition that that bilateral relationship is based uh, on two unique uh, pillars. One uh, unique in the Middle East. One, um, the sharing of democratic values between the United States and Israel. And second, uh, America's moral uh, obligation to protect the Jewish state. And those are both, of course, quite uh, familiar uh, foundations for the U.S.-Israel relationship. But as we thought about it, uh, we decided to uh, launch ourselves, the two of us, an inquiry into the connection between Israel and the U.S.-Israel relationship and America's national interests, and to look at the U.S.-Israeli relationship through the optic of American national interests. Uh, as we did that, uh, we came to the view, which we will describe to you 
today and then have a talk, a discussion about it, that Israel is a strategic asset of the United States. And uh, our presentation is going to be in three parts. Uh, I'm almost finished with the first, which is a conceptual proposition that um, the uh, benefits that the United States uh, accrues from its relationship with Israel with respect to American national interests should be, if I can put it like this, the third pillar of uh, the U.S.-Israel relationship, uh, a canonical part of that relationship which uh, is not, has not been usually uh, mentioned in the past. So that's our conceptual proposition that we're advancing here today. Walt is then next, uh, as I finish here, going to uh, describe specifically the benefits that uh, the United States uh, uh, gets from its relationship with Israel connected to our national interests. And then when he's done that, I'm going to conclude by addressing the question of a net assessment and especially whether the United States pays a price in the Arab world for its relationship with uh, Israel. So with that brief introduction, uh, Walt will now uh, do as I suggested and talk about the, uh, the benefits specifically we get from the relationship. Walter.